What's up guys, TJ Schwartz here. It's been a little bit since I posted a YouTube video. I've had a lot going on. I wanted to give you an update in this video. I got a huge delivery coming in today. I wanna to show you what I'm working on in the shop. Check it out. So this isn't a complete shop tour. I'm just gonna give you a quick rundown of what I've changed in the shop since I posted last time, which was forever ago. Uh, I've got a 50 watt fiber laser, which has been great. Uh, as you can see, sheetrock on the wall, plywood on the back wall because that's where all the power is and my panel and whatnot. I know I'm gonna be changing that around so I can remove the plywood and switch things around. It's also a nice little contrast back there. And uh, yeah, so I've got you know a little bit of steel. I think I talked about that in another video, possibly doing that so that my grinding debris hits that steel and falls to the ground. Also the tumbler seems to splash. So yeah, the shop's really kind of cleaning up and coming together. One thing that'll be coming soon is I will be framing in the garage door because it's just annoying if I heat it up or cool it down out here during inclement weather and then I open the door, it just equalizes the whole temperature immediately and is kind of a bummer. Uh, a bigger air compressor, I don't know if I had that before, but 60 gallon, I got a crazy deal. I was looking at some higher end ones, but this one popped up and it's been really reliable so far. A lot of air there, especially for the sandblaster. But I'm working on a bunch of knives. Uh, right here is where I'm, I'm gonna be stoning a bunch of knives. These are the, the ones that just came back from Heat Tree, a bunch of Overlands. If you've ordered one recently, your order's probably sitting right here. And pretty much all the sheaths are done, all the handles are machined. And honestly, stone them, blast them, tumble them, sharpen them, and they'll be headed out the door. So those are kind of getting close to the finish line. Right over here I've got just steel um, that's been water jet and surface ground that's for future overlands and a ton of scalpels so if you've seen the scalpel plus an offering that i have here's uh, some kind of rough beat up like laser practice pieces so that's not a very good representation but that's what those will get machined into i've got this batch that just got finished by guy over at survive in boise he did these for me and there's a few back there so yeah those will those will be getting machined I've got a big bottleneck on the CNC machine. This Tormach runs like a top. It's been doing really well, but it's still only one spindle. I do my Kydex on it as well. So I've got, I was just doing Kydex. You can see my, uh, my fixture for drilling the holes and doing the perimeter. And so doing Kydex, bevels, perimeter machining, and handles all on one spindle, it, it just creates a bottleneck. And I've been really pleased with the order volume, guys. Honestly, that's why I haven't been posting videos. I got I got buried in orders, so I, I can't thank you guys enough if you if you reached out and actually bought one from me. I really appreciate it. And now I'm I'm kind of getting in a rhythm, so I wanted to post more videos. But what I was getting around to is I'm gonna have another machine delivered today, and that's what part of this video is gonna be about. I want to show you guys unloading it. I'm waiting for the call from the driver. There's a guy down the road who works at a lumber mill who's driving his skid loader over and just kind of a gracious guy it's a small town he's going to help me unload it and sadly i won't get it hooked up for a little bit i need three-phase power for it um, right here is my motor for the converter you can see my power box over here or the controller for the three-phase i've got an electrician friend and he's going to help me finish up the installation of this i've kind of got an idea of how to do it but pretty cool to have an actual licensed electrician looking over your shoulder don't really want to burn the place down but, uh, but yeah, so things are coming along. A little bit about the machine that's coming. Sile, I don't know if you've heard of it, S-Y-I-L. I think that's pronounced right, Sile or Sil, I've heard it two ways. But it's a CNC manufacturer that does a really big bang for your buck package on all their machines. The one I got is kind of their mainstay, kind of their you know middle of the road, the X7. It's pretty good size. It's actually, the footprint's not much bigger than the Tormach here, but it weighs, I wanna say about three times as much and has about three or four times as much power that's why it needs the three phase and it's four times faster on the rapids so it's going to be a beast of a machine and the the casting so the main body where all that mass comes from is actually not steel which is crazy to say but it's actually a mineral casting so it's kind of like a artificial countertop they'll you know use epoxy and stone to make what they call epoxy granite you can basically picture that and that's cast instead of steel for all that all that mass so i think it's about four thousand pounds 4500 pounds and the benefit of that is it's dimensionally stable when at temperature so the temperature goes up and down steel expands and contracts substantially the mineral casting just does a lot better with that and it's obviously heavy as hell so 
that's what we want, rigidity and whatnot. So I'm looking forward to it. I'm gonna have more videos about the style. I'm gonna compare it to the Tormach. I've got that thing getting delivered. It's gonna get put in the carport because there's no way that skid loader is getting all the way in the garage here. I'm gonna have to borrow a pallet jack that is really high capacity from a friend of mine in Boise. I'm gonna do some rearranging in here. You guys might be wondering, how am I gonna fit two CNC machines in here? Just have to wait and see. Anyway, let's jump over to the, uh, to the skid loader and get this thing unloaded. Careful. A little bit of a snag on top. Yeah, a little bit. You're clear now. You, you, you're clear. Well, there it is. I breathe a sigh of relief. It's on the ground. So far, so good. Looks safe and sound. Got a little bit of separation on the crate. It was about as wide and tall as the entrance to the truck, so we got a little bit of snagging going on. But I'm not too worried about that. It doesn't look like a super robust crate, so we'll start peeling this thing apart and seeing what's going on here. Man, it's a unit. Weighs about as much as a small truck just sitting right here in the driveway. So I think my neighbors think I'm pretty crazy getting stuff like this delivered in a residential area, but it should be fun to unpackage. My two year old's just telling me to open it. I told her it was a present, so she's been peeking in all the cracks. So I'm gonna start peeling it apart and get you guys an update, see how she looks. So I've got all the wood removed. Took a minute, a little bit with a claw hammer crate is definitely not being reused because it came off in quite a few pieces it's got kind of a foil wrap it looks pretty nice almost a lunar lander kind of look it's actually like a stitched or uh, sealed kind of like a wrap for like a freeze-dried meal or something but now yeah, I'll just keep moving this is exciting guys it's fun to fun to unload something this fancy something you waited for Delta. The controller thing looks intact. Uh. 
corners haven't been hit on the front. Can you get in your shop? <laughs> particularly the operating console right here. I don't see any, I guess, he, I guess she made her. I don't see anything, any damage. Well guys, here it is. Tell you what, I'm impressed on the immediate, just uh, early inspection. I don't see any damage. Just some of these components, they just, they just look nice. I'll tell you what, it's just well organized. And it's just tidy. There's some heavy gauge material in places that just kind of were impressive to me. Some of the just control interfaces like that look, look pretty robust. Pretty well designed side doors. You got folding handles. You got locks at the top that you turn to take it off. Um, you got the control here. You can swing out and stuff. It's got a nice feeling hinge handle down here at the bottom for swinging it. Um, it's probably not the best video, guys, for the machine. I'll, I'll be doing a lot more content on this machine, but I'm just kind of soaking it in, getting my initial first impressions. This is the first time I've seen one in person. One thing I wasn't sure was kind of how it was going to be accessorized. I noticed down here in the coolant channels, there's some kind of toolbox. There's like an air gun and an air hose and some other things down in here. Uh, so I won't be able to get that out until I get it off of this metal frame on the bottom. This kind of more rust colored metal frame on the bottom, that's just the pallet. So I'll drop it off and be able to cool, pull that coolant bin out and get to some of those accessories a little easier. But yeah, it's gonna be a few days I think before I can get it off of there. And then I'll really start to look at it even closer under good light and get power to it of course, see how she really runs. But my first initial impressions are that that's a lot of machine right there. A lot going on, kind of soaking it in. I'm excited, guys. Been waiting forever. It's been uh, it's been a minute. I think I ordered it a few months ago, and it's it's not been taking too much longer than what they said it would. So I'm all good there. It's just it's kind of like Christmas, you know. Except you don't know when it's coming. So I'm happy. I'll be posting more videos, guys. Lots of comparisons potentially with the Tormach. We'll just see how this goes. Please tune into the channel. Check it out. Like, subscribe, comment. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, some of the other style guys out there have been really helpful in helping me just figure out what I need to do here and uh, what to expect, and they've been awesome. So I'll love to pass it forward if anyone's looking at one of these machines. Just reach out, let me know. Thanks, guys.